Jen made breakfast. Good morning, another day. I think we're actually going to go to the sauna this time, but since it's our last day to actually go to the sauna, we're forced to. Not that we don't want to. Technically, our last full day in Helsinki, and then tonight, we are going to go to the club again. That's pretty much it. Right now, we're in a vintage store that's attached to a coffee and furniture yeah. shop. Pretty interesting. So this is the vintage side, and the coffee side is over here. We're at the cafe, waiting to go to the sauna in about 20 minutes. Really cute cafe here. supposed to wear the towel, a bikini, or naked because yesterday Stephen went in naked so we're not sure. <laughs> I just had my first sauna experience in Finland and um, pretty much almost died literally, <laughs> almost passed out. It's really, really hot at the very top because it's in levels and I thought I'd be good at, you know, I could handle the top level, but I can't. <laughs> And I was dehydrated too, so if you're gonna do this, you better be really hydrated. You better have your water outside the sauna. You better be prepared to take a cold shower right after. I did not do that. I was trying to get my shampoo from the locker. And my mistake, I should have just gone to the water and the stuff for the shower and then gone back to the shower. But anyway, so what I saw when I come out of the sauna, I'm getting my stuff out of this locker here. It's the locker right there. I get my shampoo and all of a sudden my head went really light and all I could see is my vision going and it went completely black and then I couldn't feel anything. My hands were stuck like this, no, no joke, no joke. Literally like this for a good solid maybe five minutes until we get into the shower. And I was just sitting there like, no one's in the locker room. I don't know what to do. I can't see anything. My eyes are open, completely black. Couldn't feel anything, body tensed up, yes. And then Jen came and got me a big bowl of water, a bucket, a bucket. bucket of water and she just spoon fed me. <laughs> with her hands because I couldn't see she's like here and she dumped water on me and then when I was able to move the rest of my body onto the shower and just I just spent like a good 20 minutes in there yeah <laughs> that yeah. was my experience in sauna in Finland keep hydrated and shower cold yeah shower. Cold, cold shower cold. right after ice cold and if you can't handle too much heat don't 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 because you will probably pass out. I was this close to passing out. Jen did not come with him that minute. Probably would have knocked out. I was breathing very heavily and it's very scary. I was like, am I gonna lose my vision forever? The same thing happened when I got my belly button pierced. I lost feeling and like I went completely black because I was um, low on sugar. So there's also that. Take notes, guys. But other than that, it was a good time. People go in there naked. Don't be afraid. Don't, Don't be afraid. afraid. Confidence is key, but uh, we went in with the towel. But then we eventually got it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a new level of friendship. <laughs> Whole new level. And then there's a shower as well. Obviously, there's no bikini or anything in there either. And then, how was your experience at the sauna? It was an eye opener. For lack of a better term. Um, it was good. It was good. Other than Eric almost dying, it was good. It was good. <laughs> Sauna's in there. Shower's over here. And these are all the lockers. It's kind of scary. It's not the first time I've seen just black. Clapping. And we're having dinner too. Don't forget about dinner. 